Well, greetings once again to my shop. I've been unpacking all morning from my California trip. We got home late last night. It was 12.30 in the morning. We drove from Billings, Montana, back home to Orland. Anyway, it's nice to be here, and I think Coco is glad to have me back in the shop. I'm going to do a couple videos. One is going to be on metal reactive paint, and the other one is going to be on metal leaf. So, are you ready to go? Okay. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of what I call metal leafing. Poor man's metal leafing, if you will. And I'm going to show you a couple pieces that I've done with a little bit of metal leaf on that. I'm not doing real gilding. That's a real art. And I do a little bit of a shortcut in that. And I'm going to go over to my lathe and show you some of that. And I'm going to show you the steps to what I do, my procedure for metal leafing. Now let me show you a couple close-ups of two pieces I've got right here. Let me readjust my camera. Okay, now the piece I have showing right now is one I did in a class with Jimmy Clues. A bit of off-center work. This piece and this piece were turned separately and applied afterward, glued in. I've got just a little bit of metal leaf and I'm also using this flake that I'm going to show you later. I've got a little bit right here, and I've got a little bit right there. And when I was doing this piece, Jimmy said, don't use too much. Uh, be a little bit conservative in the use of this, and I like it. This is all burned right around here, a couple different woods, and this main bit of wood here, the main piece, is ash. Let me show you another piece that I've done. Now this is a rather thick piece of walnut, and I'll show you the back of this in just a second. I left the back without any embellishment on it. I've got some decoration around this part, and in the very center, I've got a very large area of this metal flake. And I like this a lot. I think this turned out really well. And after you apply that metal flake, you need to seal it with something. And the best thing to do is some sort of a spray clear coat. Now let me show you the back. Very, very nice piece of walnut, and I just left that a little bit shiny. Now let's go over on the lathe and do a little bit of metal leafing. Now I'm not sure exactly what I would call this technique. I'm applying some metal leaf. Now there's a big difference between metal leaf and real gold leaf or real silver leaf. Obviously, gold and silver leaf are just that, gold and silver. And you don't have to apply a clear coat over the top of them, but when you're using a metal leaf, which is a lot cheaper, you need to apply something over the top of that when you get finished. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of metal leafing in this area right here. A little bit of a crescent. Let me bring you up to this point. I put this in the true center and did this center part. A little bit of texturing and coloring, and I can go back to that. What I need to do is put a clear coat over that, and it'll make that pop a little bit more. But for right now, I'm going to apply a little bit of this metal flake. And I also will show you some of the transfer paper I do use. Now what I've got here for the sizing, and if you're from the Silicone Valley wood turners or the West Bay wood turners, um, I use a different size. And this is simply a, a glue, like a contact adhesive, I think. That's a good comparison. And this is DUX. Quick dry gilding size. And this is a really good product. This is, uh, I think, what the real gilders use. I've got a friend who's a gilder, a proper gilder. Now I've got a, an artist brush, and I want to put this in here in just a specific area. I don't want to get this overlapping here, or I'll, it'll just be a little bit uh, muddled. So I've got this stirred up. This is an oil sizing, so you can 
uh, clean your paint brush with some paint thinner, probably reuse that. So let me just put some in this area. That's the first step. Actually, the first step is preparing the surface. And that's pretty easy, just like anything else. I'm not going to uh, use any sealer on this. Sometimes I put shellac in there. Uh, I'm not looking for a real smooth finish. Okay, so let me just uh, get this started here. And it's easy in this larger area. You just have to be a little bit careful. Now you'll probably have to apply a couple coats of this. Now I use the example of putting down a countertop at laminate, like formica, something like that. And you want this a little bit on the tacky side. If it's too wet, it won't work. It just will take a really long time to dry. All right, now I'm gonna just uh, speed this up or maybe take this part out a little bit. This is a, a little tedious and I don't think it's all that important to watch. And then I'm gonna let this dry and put one more coat on this first coat I'm going to let dry completely, and it may take a couple hours. I'll just kind of monitor it, or maybe I'll even come back tomorrow and finish it up. I like this brush. This is doing a pretty good job of giving me a good, a good line here. Now this first coat, yeah, now this first coat is going to seep in there. A little bit I can tell it's it's drying fairly quickly so let me finish this up and I'll get back to you okay now I've taken a few minutes and applied a second coat and I'm just finishing up that second coat of my sizing now I've got a couple areas here that I've got to be careful this area right here isn't all that critical. It's a very nice large surface and I can get my brush in there pretty easily. It's this um, little bit right in here that goes down to almost nothing I've got to be careful with. If I overlap into the center decoration I can simply uh, take my point tool and redefine this circle and also this one here and take away any metal leaf that may stray from where I want it. All right, I think that's good. Now I'm going to let this dry. I can tell that it's uh, still pretty wet just by looking at it. So that's the completion of this step and the final step is applying the leaf. Okay, I think I am ready for the next step here, and that's applying my leaf. Now, I promised I would show you a little bit of the transfer leaf. This is actually real silver, but it was the only transfer leaf I had. Now, it comes on a backing of what is, uh, looks like wax paper. And one of the things you can do to apply this, make it easier, is just to cut it into strips. Now, I'm gonna make a combination. I'm gonna put a little bit of this silver here and there and then finish it up with my, my flake. All right, I can't make anything simple. I'm gonna just cut a couple pieces of this. And this works really well if you're doing like this center part right here that's concave. It's difficult to, uh, to make that curve. Anyway, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this right here, and I'm gonna just kinda randomly put it in there, put a little bit of pressure on it, and there we go. And that's what happens. There's another little, little bit right there. And I'm gonna take this other piece and use it up. Now this is a really nice way to do this because it is easier to control and that came off, but I'm gonna just put it in there someplace and then I'm gonna put this in there. All right, now, 
I'm going to take a little bit of that backing and I'm going to just put that over that and just kind of push that down onto the surface. All right, that's pretty random, but that's okay. And now I'm going to finish this up with some of that flake. It's just metal leaf that's just been flaked up, if you will. <laughs> flaked? There. Now, now I've got a little brush here, and I've got other artist brushes that I use. I just kind of put that in there. Start having that make contact. I'm going to just get in this little baggie and just put a little bit on the surface. I'm sure the, the real gilders out there are just laughing their heads off. That's all right. So I'm going to just kind of brush this around, fill in those spots I didn't cover with my original silver leaf. And I'm going to get down here in that little area, that narrow spot, and if it doesn't cover adequately, I can always go back, apply a little bit more sizing. Now what I'm putting on here right now is not extremely expensive, but if I have enough left, I'll, I'll try to pick it up and put it back in the baggie. And I can tell that it's adhering pretty well. I'm going to take this little bit of paper and just work that down, make sure it's uh, down into the sizing fairly well. Now you want to put this in here, mash it down a little bit, and then I'm going to just take off the top area that's it's kind of another layer that really didn't stick. Clean that up a little bit. And I did a pretty good job of getting my sizing where I wanted it. Now it's difficult in a demonstration to do this because it would take an hour just to kind of show what I showed here in five minutes. Put this down there again. Now um, I've got a burnisher around here someplace, but I'm going to take I'm going to take the end of this paintbrush and just kind of go over this a little bit more. And I do have something that I use that's a little bit better, but you can use something that's relatively smooth. And just go over those areas. This is really simple. I mean, you know, it's just what, what you're looking at right now. I'm going to go over this again because I can see some of this is not, some of this is not sticking. That's all right. Now I will let this dry and I will come back tomorrow and really do a good job of cleaning that up. Originally, if you had put down some red dye or green or whatever color you want, you could do this and leave some areas that are um, not covered in the metal leaf, and that's another effect you could do. So I'm going to let this go, let it dry real good, and I'll come back probably tomorrow, finish this up. So here is my gold leaf project. This is just a sample. You can do this kind of thing on any piece you would like. I gave you some examples at the beginning of the video. I put a little bit of color right in here because that uh, metal leaf just didn't pop very well. But I like that. It uh, came out pretty well. So thank you for watching my video and I want to give a shout out to those great clubs in the San Francisco Bay Area. The Bay Area Wood Turners Association, the Silicon Valley Wood Turners, and the West Bay Wood Turners. I had a great time out there. I appreciate it. Let your fellow club members know that I have a couple videos out on uh, Metal Leaf and also the Verde Paint. 
So thank you very much. I'll talk to you next time, and I hope to get out there and uh, visit you in the future.